Dapper Dave, over to you. It's been 25 years since the Lightning Seed seminal album, Jollification. And to celebrate, it's been reissued and the band are playing a bunch of live shows up and down the UK. Uh-huh. Why, why, why mm-hmm. would you want to be anywhere else when we're bringing you all this joy? Yes. Oh, lucky you. Uh-huh. It's the purveyor of the <laughs> finest pop known to man. It's Ian Brody. Yeah, well done. Morning, Ian. Good morning. That was a good intro, wasn't it? Great intro. He's yeah. the best. He's the absolute best. Uh, right, uh, Ian, 25 years. Um, here we are sitting on the anniversary of uh, Jollification. Yep, absolutely. Gone fast and slow and fast and slow. Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, that's quite a We've milestone. had a similar conversation before. It's been a roller coaster ride. Yep. As, as the long ones always are, because they have to be. Yeah, well, I, you know, yeah, it is. When you make a record, you're hoping it might be, you know, it might sound great in 25 years. So it's it's really <laughs> nice that it sounds okay, you know. So so what what is this, how does the celebration manifest itself? How big is it? What is going on with the celebration? Well, it's, we're 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 releasing uh, the album on vinyl and on red vinyl that smells of strawberries, which I love. I Honestly, love the idea of that. is that yeah. all true? Yeah, that's absolutely true. How well, did you make that happen? I th- chemicals, Chris, I'm sure. Did but, you, you demand know, it? Did you, did I you don't s- think you smear them in stories, but well, I wish you did. Because um, there's that famous Beatles um, uh, conversation, isn't there, about when even, even Paul, you know, how, how much influence did artists have over the record industry in the 60s? Well, listen to this for a story. Paul McCartney said um, of an album, and I think it was Sgt Pepper, I want my cardboard, because they were saying it was going to cost too much for the album sleeve that he wanted. OK, yeah. No, no absolutely. No. I think there was a big thing about uh, record sleeves and gatefold sleeves, wasn't it? Yeah. And, you know. So, yeah, I think we've got what we wanted, which was the strawberry red vinyl. Red vinyl. Strawberry yeah. smelling red vinyl. I'm so intrigued. And um, when is this album out? Uh, it was out a couple of days on ago, vinyl. actually. Yep, on right. vinyl. So it's it's just out now, and uh, and we're going to play these gigs, which is it's really exciting. We're going to play um, in November. We're playing the Royal Philharmonic Hall in Liverpool mm. and the Palladium in London. Let's get back to the vinyl thing again, if you don't mind, because yesterday I spent a good half hour looking at old radiograms. And I was, of course, extraordinarily tempted. Yeah. Um, yeah. How do you play? Where do you play your vinyl? Um, well, I, I just have a deck, actually, that comes through it, uh, in the house, comes through my... Uh, I've got a little studio in, in the top room, so I have a deck that Nobody comes has through just there, a deck. You know. Come on, what do you have? Is it a Technics? What is it? What are we talking here? Yeah, no, it's, it's one of those silver ones with the with the bumps on it that looks really good. Does it, it have a stroboscope? Uh, yes, it does, does it have it. You've got to have a stroboscope. Yeah, yes. yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about, you two? Absolutely not. <laughs> not a clue. You tell them, come on, you're, you're, the, you're, the, you're the geek here. Well, the stroboscope's to get the speed exactly right, really, isn't it? We, you know what I mean? It's, I uh, think we need to explain to them what a stroboscope is, do we? Yeah, it sounds like something from Harry Potter. Well, it's, you could, it may be a, um, a mechanical engineer's workshop, but not, maybe not Harry Potter. It's a lighting device which flashes on and off, which which then stills something that is moving. And if it comes into focus as a still object, depending on the frequency of the flashing of the lights, then it's going at the right speed. So you'd, you'd use it to, to, to set the timing on a carburetor, for example, set the timing on a timing chain on a car. Um, but on the side of a turntable, if you look at the side of a turntable, there are three rows of dots. Uh, one thick, one medium, and one thin. And one specifies 33 RPM, 145 RPM, 178 RPM. And your stroboscope, which is built into this particular um, uh, uh, deck, will have a little light shining on it, and you will know whether you need to vary speed your turntable up to increase increase BPM or down to reduce BPM. Uh, Right, Ian Brady's still with us. Why? Well, because guess who you brought with him? Riley from the life of Riley because he's, Riley's his son. Good morning, Riley. Morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. You yeah. look like we want you to look from the song. So, uh, that, and how old are you nowadays? 28. 28 years of age. And what do you do for a living? At the moment, I'm playing like full time in the Lightning Seeds. Got the gigs coming up and doing some recording. <laughs> <laughs> what do you play? Play guitar. Okay. Is he any good, Ian? He's really good, yeah. yeah. He is really good. Okay, now, obviously, potentially, a few years ago, could be awkward. You don't want to be a pushy parent. Um, did you... I mean, obviously, you went to bed every night hoping and praying he would pick up a guitar, uh, but when did that happen? To be fair, we've got a few photos, haven't we, of you when you're about five and we're sitting together in the garden playing guitar, and then about 12, and then a bit later on. So I think all, all the time, really, from quite young, I don't think... Could play that well at the beginning, but 
bit like me, just picked up a guitar and, you know, was could pretty much do it, you know. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky.